Next is Queensryche, Operation Mind Crime. I love this album too, and this is actually meant to be listened to all at one time, in its entirety, in one sitting. Because this is kind of like their version of uh, The Who's Tommy. It was like supposed to be a whole big thing, and the there was like a central theme to the whole thing. So, um, some of my favorite songs on here are I Don't Believe in Love, Eyes of a Stranger, Operation Mind Crime. It's, you'll have to check that out. They have some really good videos that go along with this album as well. Next is 1989 Aerosmith Pump. And this has Young Lust, F-I-N-E, Love in an Elevator, Janie's Got a Gun, The Other Side, What It Takes. I mean, it's got some classic Aerosmith music from their time in the 80s. You know, they were huge in the 70s. And then it, it kind of, uh, in the beginning of the 80s, they had problems because everybody was all whacked on drugs and being crazy and they couldn't get along and they fought and like you know it's a classic story of how bands in, end up breaking up because of drugs and all that kind of stuff but then in the the late 80s they came back together and did some really awesome music and this is one of the albums next is Roseanne Cash and this is her greatest hits, 1979 to 1989. And Roseanne Cash is the daughter of Johnny Cash, one of his daughters from his first marriage. Um, and I love her. And she used to be married to, or still married to, Rodney Crow, who wrote a lot of the song or produced a lot of the songs that are on this album, or, or on her albums. Uh, Seven Year Itch, Hold On. My Baby Thinks He's a Train, which is one of my favorite songs. I Don't Know Why You Don't Want Me, Never Be You, Tennessee Flat Top Box, which is one of my favorite songs by her too, and The Way We Make a Broken Heart. You need to check out some of her music. She's awesome. I mean, it's Johnny Cash's daughter. Come on. And then here's another Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. This came out in 1983, and this has Rebel Yell, Eyes Without a Face, Flesh for Fantasy, all really classic Billy Idol songs as well. And then from 1989 is what was a big album for Vince Gill, his album called uh, When I Call Your Name, and this has um, When I Call Your Name, Never Knew Lonely, two of his big, 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 huge hits. So, check out some Vince Gill, some early Vince Gill. And then, the people who dominated the 80s in country music, not only was it Alabama, which I'm not sure if I have it in this pile, but uh, the Judds, the mother-daughter, Naomi and Winona, Judd. And this is a Greatest Hits. This is actually Greatest Hits Volume 2. Um, which covers, this actually came out in 1991, but it covers uh, some of the stuff from their 80s, like the late 80s. Uh, Let Me Tell You About Love, Turn It Loose, Young Love, Born to Be Blue, I Know Where I'm Going, Maybe Your Baby's Got the Blues, and Love Can Build a Bridge. Uh, Garth Brooks, this is his first album, which is self-titled, Garth Brooks. And it has some of his classic songs, If Tomorrow Never Comes, Much Too Young to Feel This Damn Old, and The Dance. So, you have to check this out. This was his very first album. Look at how young he is in that look. Look at that young youngin. Look at that young thing. Um... And he came out in 1989, and so did, I do believe, so did Alan Jackson, Clint Black, Garth Brooks. I know I'm missing somebody. But they called them, 
uh, the class of 89 because they all came out right around the same time in 1989 and all became these huge successes. Next is Lori Morgan, Leave the Light On, and this came out in 1989. I do believe this was her first solo album. Her father is George Morgan. I do believe that's his name, George Morgan. And he's a huge, has been and was a huge star on the Grand Ole Opry. And uh, she was married to Keith Whitley, who was an up-and-coming big star and died uh, from alcoholism in the 1980s. Anyway, so this was her, I believe this was her deb debut album, Leave the Light On. And it has a train wreck of emotion. I'll Take the Memories, Dear Me, Five Minutes, Gonna Leave the Light On, I mean, she's amazing. Check it out! And then we have The Best of Great White from 1986 to 1992. This has all, what is that, all over now. House of Broken Love, Rock Me, Once Bitten Twice Shy. It's got some of their big hits on there. Now next, actually I just bought these, uh, some of these yesterday. These, the, these couple that are still wrapped up. Uh, found them for $5 at Target. J uh, Foreigner, Jukebox Hero. This is their greatest hits. Foreigner's greatest hits. Uh, which has Feels Like the First Time, Cold as Ice, Hot Blooded, Double Vision, Urgent, Waiting for a Girl Like You, I Want to Know What Love Is, and Jukebox Hero. I mean, come on. Foreigner was huge in the 80s. In the early to mid-ish 80s. Huge. Next is... This is, this is a greatest hits, and this is a country artist that was big in the 70s and the early 80s, Don Williams, has some music on here that I love, that I remember growing up, and that's what a lot of this music is, it was, you know, I was born in 73, uh, most of my memories and a, a lot of the music that I remember growing up was either stuff that my parents owned from the 70s or it was stuff I heard on the radio all the time in the 1980s because that's when that's when most of my childhood was was in the 1980s because uh, I I graduated from high school in 1992 so most of my musical influence is from the 1980s anyway this has I believe in you if you didn't love me, you're my best friend. Some broken hearts never mend. Tulsa time, which is a great song. Lord, I hope this day is good. Good old boys like me. All really awesome songs. Next is one of my favorite albums. Don Henley, End of the Innocence. I mean, this was a huge album for him. This was in 1980, 1989. This has End of the Innocence, The Last Worthless Evening, which is an awesome song. New York Minute, it's an awesome song. The Heart of the Matter, which is an awesome song. I mean, I love, I love Don Henley. I mean, growing up, there were two things things that I wanted to do or wanted to be. I wanted to be, I wanted to be Stevie Nicks and I wanted to sing with Don Henley. <laughs> so, next is the Jeff Healy Band, See the Light. I do believe this was their first album in 1988. And the guitarist, Jeff Healy, is blind. And he, but he plays the guitar on his lap like you would a steel guitar. Uh, and most people who 
might recognize him would but don't really know his music would recognize him from uh, Roadhouse that movie with uh, Patrick Swayze he this this was the house band that was in that movie and most of the music that they played in that are from their albums so this was a confident man you'll recognize was in that movie um, Angel Eyes was a huge, huge hit for them. See the light, that's what they say. It's really awesome. Blues band. Next is, ah, from 1987, uh, George Michael's Faith. I mean, come on. Uh, Faith, father figure, I want your sex, one more try. Uh, monkey. I mean, come on, <laughs> George Michael, he, I mean, he dominated the 1980s pop world as well. You know, if it wasn't being in Wham, it was having his solo career. I mean, he was huge from the beginning of the 80s till the end of the 80s and into the 90s. Next is, this is a greatest hit, The Best of White Snake. I showed you White Snake earlier. Uh, this one has Here I Go Again, Steel of the Night, which is one of my favorite songs. Give Me All Your Love, uh, Is This Love, Fool for Your Lovin', The Deeper the Love. It's awesome. And this is going to cover, and they show, if you look right here, this is Vivian Campbell, who's now in Def Leppard, who prior to being in White Snake was in Dio with a Ronnie James Dio. Um, and then here on the back, they have the other incarnation of White Snake, which had Steve Vai, who is an incredibly awesome guitar player as well, and had a great solo career in his own right, and had also played with David Lee Roth after he left Van Halen. So, check out Great White. Next is Poison. Open up and say ah. This was their second album. Their first album was Look What the Cat Dragged In. And this was their second album, which was a huge hit as well. Uh, this has nothing but a good time. Fallen Angel, Every Rose Has it th Has Its Thorn, which is a huge hit for them. Your Mama Don't Dance, which was a remake of a song from the 50s, I think. From the 1950s. Anyway, this came out in 1988. So, Poison. And then the last one that I have for this part is In Excess Kick, which was a huge album for them. This came out in 1987, and this has New Sensation, Devil Inside, Need You Tonight, Never Tear Us Apart, Kick. I mean, it's a great album, too. So, I'm telling you, guys, you need to go out. You need to go to... I mean, you can go get this stuff on iTunes, but it's more fun to go out and buy the CDs. Just go, go buy, go to the record, go to a record store, or go to Best Buy or someplace like that and go peruse the music section.